In this video, I'm going to show the best ZX sizes to grow your chest. We'll go into detail why I've chosen these ZX sizes and obviously go into depth on the form. Do aesthetics? Yeah, yeah. Like that, like that. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. We're still here in Marbella. I'm about to have a push session with Ben at Club Pado. In this video, I'm gonna show the best ZX sizes to grow your chest. We'll go into detail why I've chosen these ZX sizes and obviously go into depth on the form. So the first exercise you need to be doing to grow your chest is the city cable fly. So I always like to do this exercise first just to get blood flow in the muscles as well as fatigue in the muscle uh, the chest before I go into my big heavy lift, which will be inclined dumbbell press. So you see here, Ben is obviously flying out. We squeeze at the top. Cables line the elbows, as you come up to the top, it's mind muscle connection, squeezing that chest, keeping the shoulders pinned back as well. So our main focus of every exercise is going to be eccentric and concentric movements, which is positive and negative movements. So the concentric movement coming forward, we're going for two seconds, we a three second eccentric, which is negative movement on the way back, really stretching that chest out. <laughs> So the rep range that I go for for this exercise is between 10 to 15. I like to keep the rep range quite high, but also give myself that wee rep range in between my five reps. Then go a little bit heavier if I want to. If I maybe feel a little bit tired that day, I can obviously drop the weight down and go for 15 reps. So personally, my opinion on this exercise is I don't go below eight reps. I feel it's obviously not a strength-based exercise. So again, keeping the reps between eight to 15. Personally for me, I'm doing 10 to 15 today. Despite the fact it's not a strength-based exercise, I do like to really promote progressive overload with it and try and get heavier weights each week, but still keeping that same form and same control. Praise be to the God above. At the night. All I wanna do is love, I don't wanna fight Why you coming at me telling me to get in line I can see the pride coming up out your eyes I'm not surprised, how can I do this? You sound like Judas can fight in the so The second exercise you must do to go out a big chest and incline dumbbell press So when setting up the bench, I want you to have it one slot up If it's too many slots up, it's going to go into that front delt on your shoulder over your chest So in form this exercise, elbows are going to be slightly tucked in Don't want them too flared out because again it'll come into that front delt Keeping the eccentric concentric movement the same We're going to be driving up with 2 seconds and 3 seconds and then we're down so the incline dumbbell press is my big compound on my chest there on my push day but what often I like to do is again keep my reps nice and high as my training over the last 6 months has changed to more that high pressure sort of range so quite often people come in here on compound lifts and they're pushing for 4, 5, 6 reps personally for my training right now for time under tension I'm focusing higher reps at 8 to 12 and again despite the rep range being a little bit higher I'm still really going for progressive overload coming in to push heavier weights every single week or trying to get extra reps in. So I'm going to give you a few teaching points on how to perform the incline dumbbell press properly. So let's fall back onto the bench bent. So with the elbows slightly tilted in that position, I want you to drive up to the top. Again, two seconds up, three seconds down, keeping the elbows nice and tucked a little bit more to keep that tension in the chest and not in the front delt. See how Ben's pushing through his palms as well. Good. Once we get to the bottom, so we half second hold and we're pressing back up to the top again. So another quick teaching point when performing this exercise is keep your shoulders pinned back in the bench and pushing your chest out. And again, focus on pushing up your leg as well with a little bit of leg drive. So since my training has uh, kind of changed to more hypertrophy sort of based on time under tension and we've also still been in a diet for the last three months my energy levels and strength levels have dropped a fair bit as I'm lifting 35 now for 10 reps when I've, my previous best is 48 for 2 sets of 8 so strength has taken a hit but I'm also preventing injury from occurring all that sort of stuff with uh, lifting a little bit lighter weight and focusing on that form as the heavier you go you could slip up and possibly hurt yourself Get knocked out, knocked out, you better move you might get knocked out Success ain't no giving, some days I don't hit, I don't slay When I'm focused, I'm dying, just down, wonder when I'm anxious Ain't no limit till I tank, I'm running on fumes The hopper system don't amaze, the roads racing through the pavement Get your hands out of my bag, I know that's because I've been in it huh? Getting that control, driving up mate, good, two Keep the shoulders pinned back, three, pushing through the palms, good Good reps mate, good depth, four Five, good mate Every rep looks the same Let's get two more at least mate, that's that driving up, control, reset and back in.
Ah, que Finish Just another wee tip guys, when you're finishing off your last rep, make sure we always finish by keeping that time under tension on the way back down, finish off the full set. Don't forget to the top and just fling it down, so that's obviously like a half rep wasted. So the third exercise you need to be doing if you want to grow that chest is a plate loaded chest press. So we're quite fortunate, we're an absolute brilliant gym, we've got a load of different variations we can carry out here. So you want to try and find one of the machines that's more biased towards the lower chest, which would be a decline press, but if not, just settle for a flat press. So breaking down the three exercises that we've covered today, we started off with a seated cable fly targeting the overall chest, we then moved over onto an incline dumbbell press hitting that upper chest, and now moving on to a flat or decline press hitting the lower chest. So we're covering all bases. Joe aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like that, like that. <laughs> Imagine. So when carrying out this exercise, again, I like to keep my elbows fairly tucked in to keep that tension in the chest, and I like to have an open palm. So you're pushing through the palm, putting all that tension there. Again, let's keep the shoulders pinned back and chest pushed out. Let's go back in. Slow, 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 slow. slow. One more. Back in, nice and slow, mate, nice and slow, keep that tension. Good, squeeze it off through the chest, good bro. Sick lad. See the way Ben kept his last rep there? Nice control the whole way back in, keeping tension on that chest at all times. So that's my top three exercises, grow that all round chest. So to recap, we started off with a seated cable fly, hitting that overall chest, again keeping the rep range a little bit higher at 10 to 15, always progressive overloading. We then moved on to an incline dumbbell press, hitting that upper chest. Again, progressive overload, we've got two heavy sets, 8 to 10, one lighter set, 10 to 12. And then finally moved on to a CT plate loaded chest press. Again, we're looking to try and get the decline chest, the lower chest. So try and find a decline if you can, but if not, settle a flat press. Keep the elbows tucked in, push out to the top, make sure the volume's nice and high. So I would always program these three exercises into a push day, which is chest and shoulders. But you can also add that into an upper body day when you're training shoulders, chest and back. So now to finish off the push session, we're going to go into some accessory work, just to burn out the side delts and the front delts. I don't think they running at my pace Jordan ones, gotta keep them laced If she bad, I might have to get a taste Whip go vroom, I'll set them on a chase I don't think they running at my pace Jordan ones, gotta keep them laced So to finish off the session, we're going to want some triceps A few supersets, get blood to the muscle and then we're going to wrap it up there If she bad, I might have to get a taste Whip go vroom, I'll set them on a chase That's the way I said I'm a Right guys, so that's a wrap in the session and that's a wrap on the Full Mar Bear trip as well. So it's the first of many content and trips I've got planned with Jude, so stay tuned for that. And also if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If there's any other muscle groups you want me to cover and give me my top three exercises for each of them, let me know.